Salutations, morals, and children of the night. I'm the Vampire Otaku. Welcome to my channel. It's still romance month. Still reading a lot of really good romances. This video is no exception. I'm going to be talking about the one shot manga is love the answer this is the cover if you can't tell the purple white gray and black are the colors of um the asexual it's kind of like their flag this is a really good manga so in this manga the main character she's trying to figure out what romance is what it means to her and a lot of the other characters around her is like in high school. They're really pressuring her to get a boyfriend, to try to fall in love. She's questioning, you know, what if I'm like an alien? What if these concepts are gonna stay foreign to me for the rest of my life? And a lot of them are really pushy about their beliefs on love and romance. It just makes her feel like, what am I doing wrong? Why, why can't I? like anyone in a romantic way she feels no attraction to anyone on a romantic level and it makes her feel like she doesn't belong around other people it's kind of sad at first but i like the representation of it i like that the asexual main character isn't just perceived as cold like she's still warm still cares about people it's just her boundaries are a little bit different than the average person. And that really makes this manga interesting. So the one shot basically goes over the main character's journey through high school. Well, the ending of high school and the beginning of college. She meets a professor who just immediately understands her and makes her think on a more critical aspect of how she feels. I want to know what's wrong with me. I want to know why I can't feel romance and why I'm not like all the other people. And the professor is like, why do you have to feel those things? Who says you have to be like everybody else? And then she recommended some books that she could read and check out and do research. And there's another person who was introduced to the main character. He had a similar standpoint on the whole sexual identity aspect but he was a little more rough with his tone. You know, he was like, why don't you find the answers for yourself instead of being misguided by other people? I think that kind of hurt her feelings a little bit, but it also made her more self-aware and made her take responsibility for the things that she felt and the things that she didn't understand. She decided to try to learn more and to try to connect more with other people so she can grow as a person. It was really sweet, really, really awesome character development. She's still the same person from the beginning of the manga towards the end of it. There's a lot more wisdom, a lot more confidence and, and a higher self-worth. And she's growing a backbone throughout the story. Like, hey, I don't like that. This is what I like. I have a name for what I've been feeling all these years. And I, I think it just helped her cope with the fact that she feels so different and kind of isolated. She made some really good friends that were dealing with their own traumas and issues that also made them feel isolated. And they made a really good trio. The guy was, he kind of saw himself as gay, but he still felt attraction towards the opposite sex. It made him feel imposter syndrome. Like he's more attracted to guys, but he finds attraction to women as well. And the main character had a mirror situation with that, where it's like, I feel attraction, but also repulsion. So where do I fit into the spectrum? And um, it, it just really dug deep into the questions of gender identity and sexual orientation. And it was a very tasteful way that it was written. And it, it didn't seem forced. None of the ideas seemed forced. It, this manga kind of encourages you to find your own answers yourself, but also talk to other people about it because it can be a very lonely experience. And um, yeah, if you, if you feel like you're not sure about your sexual orientation or you you don't like sex that much and it makes you feel weird to feel that way. This is an amazing book to read. You'll really connect with the main character, just questioning where you stand in those particular, I wouldn't say issues, but particular human qualities. 
you know, human nature. I guess the average person believes that human nature is, you know, you mate, you have kids, you get married, the whole narrative. But this challenges the status quo and that makes for great literature. The art's really good too. It's not super detailed, but the character designs are very unique and well drawn. Everything is high quality. This is done by Kodansha and I don't know, Kodansha usually does a pretty good job with their with their mangas. I mean, we got the new Kodansha villain saga. That is an absolutely gorgeous hardcover. It's got runes, ancient language on the top of it that actually reads out to something. The paper quality is very high. It's on par or even better than Berserk and Helsing. So it's really impressive. That's about it for this story. It's a one shot, so it's not a lot of story, but these characters that were written so well, their conversations were really good, very realistic, and it's just a fresh take on an asexual character. It's, it's kind of like how there's a stereotype for autistic people in media where they're either mute and completely disconnected from society or they're hyper intelligent and have photographic memories and like the like the movie 21 it convinces them to play cards and win a lot of money and um those are usually stereotypes there are never any nuances in the middle that show the different spectrum of people and this story does that well you got asexuals that like will have no type of sex and then some that you know can sometimes but their libido is low so it, it just really shows the entire spectrum and the whole idea of finding yourself figuring yourself out and honoring yourself and setting boundaries for yourself very good book to read i can't recommend it enough thank you so much for tuning into another video this has been an epic romance month i think i'm going to read one more series and talk about it and then in march we'll see what happens um Gonna be reading a lot more manga. Gonna try to read some more novels. Maybe talk about some figures. We'll, we'll see. That being said, peace.